Hey there. Welcome to your first day on the job as a robotic welding operator. We're located inside an UP360 production facility where we produce wind turbine engines. Today, we'll be setting up the robotic welding arms to work on the engines. To start your day, we'll be going over your work order, which contains all the information you'll need to complete your job. Okay, first grab the work order from the table and we'll go over it in detail. Based off the work needed section, you'll need to first assign the type of robot arms we'll need for the day, second, set the welding parameters, and third, program the robot arms welding patterns. We'll be working with six robot arms in pairs of two, and each pair will be assigned to a specific row. So underneath the work needed section, there are three specifications for each row. For now, we only need to worry about the first specification, the type of robot arm. To assign the type of robot arms for each row, we'll be using the large operator's tablet located on the workbench. You can tap the activate button on the operator's tablet to turn it on. Displayed on this tablet are the three rows of robot arms that you'll need to assign. You can tap on either the left or right robot arm to assign it to either arc or spot welding. These robot arms come in pairs, so if you assign the right side of row 1 to arc welding, the left side will also be updated to arc welding. Let's assign the robot arm types for row 1 first. Based on your work order, you'll need to assign arc welding robots to row 1. Check the work order and select the robot arms we'll need for the other two rows. Once you've assigned all three pairs, a confirm button should pop up. Select that to check your input. Those robot types don't match the work order. The incorrect ones show up in red. That looks correct. You should see the robot arms moving into position now. Once that's finished, we'll head over to the next location and start programming each pair of robot arms. To move to the next location, please select Area 2 on the map tablet next to the workbench. Alright, at this location, we have the main console that connects to the robot arms. We'll be plugging into the three main USB slots to program each pair of robot arms. First, let's turn on the console by flipping the power switch. Attached to the console on the left is the main programmer's tablet. Next to the console is the work order and a metal thickness chart, which I'll explain later. First, let's plug in our programmer's tablet and check the settings for the robots in the first row. Grab the programmer's tablet. Now, take that USB key that's on the side of the tablet and plug it into the highlighted slot on the main console. The programmer's tablet should automatically detect the type of robot arm in row 1. You should see two main options on the home page, parameters and pattern. First, we'll set the parameters for this pair of robot arms. Select the parameters button from the home page of the programmer's tablet. So there's two main settings for this robot arm. The welding power specifies how much energy will be output by the robot arm during the weld, and the speed determines the number of cycles this arm will complete. These values will need to be updated based off the metal thickness, which is detailed on your work order. If we check out the bottom part of the work order, we can see that the arc welding robot arms in row one will be working on a metal thickness of 2.12 millimeters. What you'll need to do is check the chart next to the work order and determine what power and speed should be set to for that metal thickness. Don't worry, I'll help out with the first one since I know it's your first day. So based off a metal thickness of 2.12 millimeters, the chart says we should set the welding power to 8750 amps and a welding speed of seven cycles. You can use the arrow keys to the left and right of the parameters to adjust the values. Once you've set both, select the confirm button. First, bring up the pattern window from the home page by selecting the pattern button. Next, you'll need to set the welding pattern for this pair of robot arms. First, check the work order and take note of the arc welding pattern. Then, look through the different cards next to the console. Once you've found the card with the matching pattern, you can upload it to the robot arms by scanning it at the console. Once you've scanned in the pattern, you'll need to test it so I can make sure it's correct. Okay, you can upload the correct pattern for this set of robot arms now.
Hey, that pattern looks accurate. Now that it's complete, you can select the confirm button. Okay, this pair of robot arms have their parameters set and the pattern input, so we're all finished. Select the confirm button on the home page and we'll move on to the next pair. Next, we'll set up the robot arms in the second row. Unplug the programmer's tablet from the first USB slot and plug it into the next one. The programmer's tablet has automatically detected the spot welding robots in this row. First, let's set the parameters for these robots. Use the highlighted work order and metal thickness chart to set the value. Those values are close, but not 100% correct. Check your work order in the chart and try again. Yeah, those values look good. So, next we'll set the pattern. Spot welding robots weld in a different style than the arc welding robots. They will move from one point to another, making single point spot welds where we specify. To set the pattern for these robots, we'll need to tell them where on the wind turbine engine they'll be welding. Bring up the pattern window on the programmer's tablet. You'll need to use the work order to determine where the spot welding robots will be moving to. Once you set the pattern, select the test button. That pattern looks great. Select the confirm button to finalize the pattern. We're done with this pair of robot arms. Select the confirm button from the home page and we'll move on to our final set. Plug the programmer's tablet into the last USB slot. I'll let you program everything on your own. I'll talk to you when everything's complete. Don't forget to check the work order for the metal thickness and pattern you'll need to program. Good luck. Hey, looks great. All right, now that we've got all the robot arms set, we can start the production line. We'll need to get you to a safe location, so head back to the first area. Please select area one on the map tablet to head back to the starting area. Now that you're back here, everything should be ready to go. Okay, whenever you're ready, press the green start button next to the workbench to start the production line. Would you look at that? Beautiful, isn't it? This order was for five engines, so just hang here and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Once they're all done, I'll call you back. Robots have revolutionized the manufacturing industry, reducing costs and boosting productivity. Many popular welding processes can now be automated. Robotic welding is a field that pairs welding with computer science to create manufactured goods, ranging from car parts to ornate metallic furniture. 
Robots can position and secure the parts to be fused and may also perform the welding. Now that the first order has been completed, I'll send you the second work order for the day. They'll be using the same type of robot arms, so you'll just need to head to Area 2 and set their parameters and patterns. I'll let you handle this one on your own. Good luck. Those values are close, but not 100% correct. Check your work order in the chart and try again.
job well done today. I see big things in your future. If you want to complete another work order, you can select the Keep Going button on the workbench. Or if you'd rather take a break, select the Finish Day button, and I'll see you in the